When it comes to protecting your Apple Watch, getting a full body case is a must have, especially if you find yourself in the harshest environment. If it's either work related or you just don't have Apple Care and don't really want to pay for Apple Care, you're better off just using that money and getting like a full body case that could protect it. Now, recently this year, UAG released their cases for the Apple Watch. And we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it and compare it against other third party popular solutions available in the market. The one case that I was always personally recommending everyone was the Unicorn Beetle. It's inexpensive, it looks cool, it's stylish, and offers the best screen protection as the gap around the display has a nice lip that goes all the way around. Perfect in case you lean on a wall or slide your wrist on a side of a building or something. Trust me, I've done that before without a case. But earlier this year, UAG released their solution towards those type of harsh environments. As we're gonna go ahead and check out not just their band, but we're also gonna go ahead and combo it with the full body case that simply just attaches on to your Apple Watch. Now it's compatible for the newer generation Apple Watch. So if your Apple Watch is a series four or newer, this also includes the SE, the case is fully compatible. And then the band, well, of course, you can put this on the, even on the older generation Apple Watch. So let's go ahead and quickly take a look at these accessories and also compare it against other shock absorbing cases that are also available in the market. Let's get started. So yes, the same company that makes these very popular shock absorbing cases for smartphones are now making accessories for the Apple Watch. Now this case slash bumper retails for just $19 normally and comes available in two color choices to choose from. You have this one which is black and orange and the one I got personally is the black on black for a more stealthier look. Unfortunately a thing I know is when shopping is that this is only available for the 44 millimeter Apple Watch. So if you have the 40, unfortunately the size isn't available apparently, which is a darn shame. Now UAG actually have a lot of different style bands to choose from on their store for the Apple Watch. And it's available for either the 44 or the 40. And even if you have the older generation Apple Watch, these bands are fully compatible. So something like the series three, as long as it's the appropriate size, you can still fit it, fit it on just fine. But this band is the civilian strap. And what I like about this one, it has a unique built to it and also still has the unique orange as well Some little highlights here and there which still looks very stealthy but it's made out of silicone it's super flexible but it is somewhat pricey in my opinion as this actually this band actually retails for $39 normally but taking the case out of the box this is made out of a very flexible almost like a nerf style feel you know, like the cases that Nerf, the toy company, used to produce. It has that similar texture, but slightly harder, but still feels really easy to like move and bend as you're seeing right here. The case just simply attaches onto your Apple Watch like so. And I think I immediately noticed that it has a massive gap around the speaker and grill area, which is great. That means there's very little interference whatsoever when it comes to sound or speaker quality so if you're having a phone call with your apple watch the other person and you should be able to hear the caller just fine microphone cutouts also nice and open as well as the power button super responsive digital crown has plenty of protection so there's no risk of that gain damage and surprisingly the edge to edge display actually wraps around really nicely around this case as there's no blockage or anything on the display now the lip, there is a lip that goes all the way around, which offers a general amount of protection, I would say. But when you compare it against the Unicorn Beetle, as I previously stated, the lip that goes around this case, it's much taller. But that's not an issue because I think this is the appropriate amount because I think the Unicorn Beetle kind of overdoes it. But I'd rather be safe than sorry, which is why I always personally recommend this one. But I do like the UAG case a little bit more since I could switch it with any band that I already own. I'm not simply stuck with one. And if I want to remove it, it just easily just pops off like so. No issues there whatsoever. I like the edge to edge bumpers to look slim and minimum. Now taking the watch off our wrist, there's no blockage whatsoever. You can still take off the band with very little interference you might have to push 
the case out of the way slightly though. But there's no interference in terms of just pressing the really quick release button, but you do have to apply a little bit of pressure to slide the band out of the case as it does slightly grind it, but it's no biggie. Now the back sensors, if you do have ECG or even just a simple heart rate monitoring sensor, it's fully exposed, there's no blockage whatsoever. Notice how the lip on the side does raise up. For, from my experience, it doesn't really cause any issues or any irritation or such whenever you're wearing it. If you do drop the Apple Watch by itself without any bands attached to it, I'm pretty sure the sensor is going to make contact to it on a rough surface and damage your Apple Watch. But in terms of the front face being protected, it's fully protected. There's no concerns about that. So if you do drop it bare just like this, as long as it lands screens down, it should be perfectly fine. If it lands back, uh, you may need a new heart rate sensor or something. Hopefully that doesn't happen anytime soon. Now moving along, the civilian band is actually not that bad. It's soft, it's stretchy, because it is silicone. And on the back, there's actually is a unique groove pattern right here, which should allow any liquid to easily evaporate. So if you're training with this thing, it should be comfortable to wear as it will try to keep itself dry as much as possible so it doesn't cause any irritation. Now I think I did notice is that the logo, when wearing it, it's facing you. It's not facing people around you, which is great. For those, I like to keep things minimum, but also look nice. And the orange highlight is also, again, facing you. It's not really facing the exterior body of the watch. Mine is this part right here. Other than that, when you compare it against other well-known brands like Catalyst and their full body protection case, I much rather prefer this than this one. Because if you look at the corners, this doesn't really offer that much protection, but it does keep things slim. And I do like the fact that these, this one actually has removable bands, but I prefer actually being able to use this band even without the case if I need to. And then the Unicorn Beetle. I love the Unicorn Beetle, but it is too bulky. Band that's attached to it doesn't really feel that great. But in terms of best body protection, I still think the Unicorn Beetle still wins because of that higher lip that goes around the display. But after having this for about over four years now, handling wear and tear very well. So durability wise, the Unicorn Beetle so far is handling extremely well. I just don't like the the fact that the band is attached to the case itself because this band isn't really the co most comfortable band available. And then this one over here, this one's alright. I don't really have that much to say about it. Just when you attach it, I mean, and you're wearing it, it looks like a kid's watch in my opinion. Which is great if you're using the kids mode function, but not the best looking one but definitely does offer protection but for the same cost i rather just go for this one or just go ahead and just grab this case part you don't even bother going with the band the case itself this thing offers a lot of protection and again looks pretty cool so yeah honestly i'm actually quite impressed the case isn't that bad for this asking price it actually offers a lot of protection and the cool thing is you're not stuck with a single band if you guys enjoyed like to see more don't just hit that like button and get subscribed but go ahead and also check out this video over here as i go through some other cases that offers full body protection feel free to go ahead and watch that video to see what else is available in the market and then this video over here this is a video that youtube is recommending specifically for you thanks so much for watching take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.